Hi, I'm Freddy Hayek with Solid State Logic. Welcome to the 2010 NAM show. And today we are featuring the brand new product called the X Patch. The X Patch is a technology that's based on the SSL uh, Matrix console. Uh, it is a 16 by 16 analog patch bay that's digitally controlled. Uh, it, it's housed in this one rack space device, which has two individual inputs on the on the front and two outputs, plus 16 ins and 16 outs using D sub connectors on the back. To give you an idea of how this works, uh, the connections in here are all done via analog, and it's a completely clean signal path. Uh, it's designed to replace a patch bay. However, the difference with this is that it's a digitally controlled patch bay. So you simply connect an Ethernet connection on the back of your X-Patch right into your computer and run a very low-level Java application here that's very similar to the matrix environment. Uh, so with this application, you essentially can see up to six X-Patches connected to your network, uh, plus also configure each one of them. Now where this is a bit of a departure from the matrix is the matrix assumed that all of your inputs and output routing was done for insert purposes. This one, however, allows you to do inserts plus designate channels to be individual devices where, for example, you have microphone pre-inputs. They don't necessarily have outputs, so there's no reason to burn the input and the output for the purpose of that. So it gives you a lot more flexibility, especially when you want to route lots of different devices in series with one another. So this menu here allows you to designate what devices you're going to connect it to, what purpose it's going to serve, plus it notice it also figures out, allows you to, get, to adjust the voltage. So if you have a minus 10 device that needs to go into a plus 4, all the voltage the devices are basically set up here. It's also MIDI controllable, which I'll explain in a second. Once you set up all of your devices, they're now available for you on this matrix. So if I want to take, let's say, the insert point of uh, my X desk there, I want to select a VHD uh, di or dynamic uh, compressor, I simply select that right there. And notice that it automatically consumed the input and the output because it figured out automatically that that is an insert device. So this makes it real easy for you to take whatever source to destination that you want in an insert situation. However, let's say you want to create your own chain of devices. Um, I'm going to clear this out really quick so we can start from scratch. I can then se select, for example, my EQ out to then go to my dynamic out, which then goes into my next device, which is another EQ. So this way I can build a chain right here on the matrix. Or if I want to do that as a chain preset, I can create a chain preset right here and select all of the available devices that I want to. And then simply call up that chain right from this menu here. Now notice, whenever something is actually in use, it automatically figures out that that chain is not available, obviously, because it's being used somewhere else. Uh, you can then basically store these into presets over here. And these presets, by the way, are controlled via MIDI. So if you're in an environment where you want to automatically um, uh, we, uh, un automate the, the uh, signal switching, you can actually send a program change uh, to the unit via MIDI, and it will automatically switch from preset to preset so that you can actually dynamically automate switches of, of your... Uh, of your uh, matrix. Plus, if you, of course, if you're a guitar player and you have lots of different pedals and maybe different amplifiers, you can use a simple pedal board that does program change up and down to, sim to simply switch all your different designation and different matrix selections. So that is the, uh, the X patch. It will be, like I said, it will be available end of January for $11.99 US. Thank you and have a good day.